hey, we've got, we've got, we've got the goods. And, uh, yeah, I, I look like a disaster. I just got back from the Brooks Cascade Lego convention, and I am exhausted from finding all these sweet deals to show y'all. But I will be behind the camera for the rest of this video. So you won't have to look at me. What have we got in this bag of utter Lego goodness? Well, let's, let's, let's take a look here. Um, I made so many, so many bad decisions, and as, uh, you, you saw in the title, this was indeed a $600 haul, in fact. So, as we are going, there's going to be an automatic counter going up on the right side of the screen, so you can see my running total. So let me know if you think the prices I paid for these are good, bad, or if you want to throw your phone against the wall. Just, uh, let me know in the comments down below. So, we're gonna start with the sealed sets. I bought this first order battle pack for $20. I don't know. I always want more of these. They look really nice. And the way they wrapped it, the box is in pretty bad condition, but it's flat because of the bubble wrap, so it looks like a deceivingly good box. But from the side angle, you can just see how beat up it is. I don't know. It's a great battle pack build. This turret is fantastic, and I want to build that first order army. So this is thing number one. <clears throat> So they had about three or four of these at the convention, which was very surprising because I just, I don't find many of these sets around, but it's the Sand Speeder. It's the non-canon Star Wars vehicle that most people don't care about, but like, look at those minifigs. Those are gorgeous. And the build itself is also gorgeous. I don't actually have a Snow Speeder, so this is the closest thing I'm going to get for a while. Nice little build, and um, it was uh, 45, there it is. And the funny thing was... They're like, hey, it's 45, we just want to let you know there's a piece missing, a very important piece. And I was like, oh, shoot, if it's a minifig, like, that's kind of wrong. They're like, yeah, this snake, it's not there. I was like, I don't care, give me the set, it's fine. Um, there, there are some play features. Uh, pretty, pretty cool set. I'm very excited to build this one. It's very weird, very different, and uh, it's, it's very exciting. This next set here I paid $30 for. And the funny thing about this set is they've made so many versions of this set over the years, and each one of them has small variations. Really, the $30 go for these two minifigs. I'm very excited for them. Another R2-D2 and C-3PO is always appreciated, and the build is pretty nice, a good 2012 set. Um, but the crazy thing is just the sheer number of these that they had. They had a few of this exact set. They had a ton of the older versions. I mean, they just had so many escape pods. It was very entertaining, especially because they were all at the same table. So I don't know how these people got a hold of all of these, but 30 bucks. I was like, hey, that's pretty nice. Okay, you know what? I've decided we're actually going to look at the big box that's been looming outside of the bag this whole time because I've decided I'm not going to make you guys wait in suspense any longer. So, here it is. If I hold it from here, the box looks more ruined. And it's backwards. Terrible presentation. I know. We got the Resistance Bomber set from 2018, I believe. I mean, this set is phenomenal. I never got around to getting it, and I was very sad that I didn't pay a whopping $150 for it, which in my mind ain't bad. I don't know. You guys let me know, but some of these minifigures hit different. Um, there's that very rare minifigure that um, got replaced after it being out for only a short time. I very seriously doubt that it's gonna be in here, but I mean, hey, there's a small chance. It has been opened, but it is confirmed complete, which is awesome. Um, it was actually really funny. I kinda tried, I tried to try to get the guy to make a deal with me, try to get him to go down a little bit. So when I walked up, I misread the price, and I was like, oh, 130? I'll take it. And he was like, no, it's, it's 150. And then I was like, oh, shoot. And then I was like, hey, wait, this isn't factory sealed, it's just tape. And he's like, yeah, I know. So I tried. That guy was like 85 years old. He knew exactly what he was doing. He didn't. He's like, stupid kid, he can't. I've been doing this for years. Like, he's not going to get past me. And yeah, he started walking away. And I was like, wait, no, I'll take it. So very happy with this. It's going to be a fun live stream building this thing up. It's a cool set with great minifigs and one that I think is really hard to find now. So I'm very happy I was able to pick this up. So now we're moving into the stuff that is not in box. That is something I don't really care about. So sets in the box, out of the box, it doesn't make a difference to me. Next up here, we have this awesome set for $60. 
It is the Separatist uh, Shuttle. I'm not exactly sure if that's the official name, but it came with all of the minifigures, which is very important to me. Love to get that Rodian minifigure. It is complete, has the instructions, and just a really great Clone Wars set. Those are sets that I'm always looking for, and this one is just a very special one to me. Love the Clone Wars, and seeing this thing built on my shelf is going to look so nice. I surprisingly did not buy any minifigures except for this one. They had so many minifigures, it was crazy, you guys. Um, but the only one I bought was this little guy here. Only came in, I think, one or two sets, and they were selling him for only $15, and I figured, hey, why not? Great minifigure. I believe it's Road of the Hut. Great, great little small guy here, and a fun one to have. I still don't have Jabba, which seems a little backwards, but hey, at least I have his son. That's a pretty good start. Digging deep here, we have the Hyena Droid Bomber set. Another one that I just never got around to buying when it was in stores. Let's get some of the pieces out of here. It is another confirmed complete one, minifigs and all. Really cool set. Man, they packed this thing tight. I almost missed seeing this because it's so small. When they put it on a table with like 50 other sets, it's like I, I can't see it. But I was very lucky to find this set. A very cool one. And uh, one that I think is going to look great with the rest of my Separatist army. Okay, this last one here was my last purchase of the day. It was at the point where I was like, I could either save some of my money or spend all of it. And since I make terrible decisions, I decided, you know what? I really want this. And here it is. Oh gosh, it's really heavy for some reason. Oh wait, oh, I, I lied guys, I'm sorry. Um, there is another set here. It's the Shadow Trooper Battle Pack for 25 It was fantastic. The guy uh, at the next table over heard me talking to one seller about LEGO Star Wars, and he pulled this number out from under the uh, table, and he was like, hey, I heard you like LEGO Star Wars. You want to buy this off me right now? And I was like, you know what? Sold. So I have another one of these. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but the minifigs are just really, really cool and different and the capes are still in their special box which means they're going to be in great condition which is a big win for me okay now let's get to the real last set here this thing was actually the most expensive thing here even more so than this surprisingly it is a 2014 set it has a UCS version if you haven't guessed it by now let's just show you it is the Imperial shuttle for 180 here what a beautiful set i mean all the minifigs are included you can see a few of them right here very excited to build this one up it's just a hefty bag it doesn't look like much but uh my cousin has this set which is a big reason why i wanted it i've seen it on his shelf for years and i'm like that is sweet very excited for this one i don't have an imperial shuttle but i have like all the other shuttles like Krennic shuttle, Kylo Ren shuttle. I think this will make a fine addition to my collection, you know? But a very cool set. And here it is. All eight of the sets that I bought at the convention. Now you'll notice my total is not $600. It's $560. That's right. You got played, you fools. You trusted me. You should never trust. Actually, that's not a good message. You should sometimes trust me, except when I trick you like now. Did you fall for it? If you fell for it, make sure to like this video. That's what happens. If you lose, if you fall for it, you gotta like the video. That's just how it goes. So here are all the sets. One more time. Let me know in the comment section down below which one of these is your favorite. For me, oh, it's so hard to decide. I really love the Separatist Shuttle, but I think the Imperial Shuttle is going to take the cake. And you will see all of these sets being built on live streams coming to you. Um, sometime. I'm not sure when I'm gonna have time. I also have all of these sets to build too. So when I get around to it, I get around to it. So thank you so much for watching this video. There is a ton of Bricks Cascade convention videos coming out in the near future. I just have to edit all of them because there are so many to make. So subscribe if you want to see more content from the convention. And uh, y'all have a nice day. I'll see you guys later.